Cause those guys wanted to be on wakilisha show with Kalama Shaka and uko fulani. Friday night with DJ Moze. Him Lucas wants to go to Kengeles and blow people's minds out. So completely different direction. And with time I be, I started to understand him where he was coming from because it it was a lot it was about the business. So we were not the right business for him. Even before I move away from this topic. Yeah. So what would you say is a huge learning mm-hmm. that that lacks in today's in because I like what you what you making me sound is like Lucas recorded so many songs but never let release them yeah. because business wise and vision wise they, they were not to, make they're they not going to impact anyone. Would you say that musicians today are just tomorrow in jam? Yeah, for the sake of you no know, guys are, unfortunately some musicians just look for the fame part of it. And this content is king. Let me a powerful song will go away will do way much more than just any song. And so I mean now I understand why Lucas for those songs were never going to work for him. Especially the Nanoma songs. I mean we were hardcore rappers. You know, street radicals we believed in the struggle you know in the revolution <laughs> you know and when we left Ogopa we started dissing Isa we have a very bad diss song for Isa that i recorded <laughs> very bad diss, bad diss song yeah i call him mafala <laughs> <laughs> so i take it you guys have been i i made up with Isa like two weeks before he died we met at Kenchi Kimati Street. Like to that time I mean I'd started going to campus, my mind is opening. I've not been with Nanoma in like three, two years. I'm not that that vibe. I'm also a struggling producer. I'm trying to get into the business. Now I've just started touching base with Kofulani. Now I'm beginning to, now I'm beginning because now by that time I was like, "Hey, these guys are too radical for me." You know, when I was now recording Dandora Love all those songs. No, I'd, I'd, no, I'd gone to the depth of hip hop and I'm like, yo, man, this, I, yes, we are doing good music, but bro, there's no future here. <laughs> These guys, they, I think for me, I've, I've always, from a very early age, looked at music from a business perspective. I, for me, it was not just to do art for the sake of doing art. For me, I'm always like, how does this make sense? How does this thing impact people? How how do I change my life with the talent I have? So now when I started now after now going into Dandora and living with those guys I'm like we can't live like this. This was all is a life of fear. There's no respect. Nobody's calling you for shows. You are too radicalized. I mean if my mom wasn't able to give me bus fare how the hell would I come here? So I need to do something that I can also put some my aim has never been to be a billionaire. I mean I don't aim to be Bill Gates. That's I've no I don't have those kind of ambitions. I mean that's not who I am. I mean it's I mean I know people want to get rich and, and all but for me that's not my that's not what drives me at all. So so I started seeing the radicalness of it. I'm like, yo, Lucas has sense, man. Lucas has a point. <laughs> This shit can go anywhere. They won't last. Yes, they have a good culture. They have a good point. They have a certain level of impact. But in the long run, this stuff won't go far. And that's why the guys who left to Kofulani have succeeded. The Julianis. You can. There's a certain sense of progression you can you can't achieve when you're in that kind of environment. Mm. So for me, now I started really, really, really rethinking about. My entire philosophy about music, about the hip hop culture. So I started now leaning more. So I started just cutting off my ties. That's crazy. With, with those guys. So let me ask you. Okay. So you, you so touched... by the time when I was meeting now Isa, where did you? Where where was your first introduction to Isa when you guys? Left? At Ogopa. At Ogopa. Because we are like this, is the guy who's come to take over from us. Him is doing commercial music, bubblegum lyrics. I'm like, what the hell is Yabamba Yawaka? I'm like. Dude, talk about some Santuri record is shit. <laughs> you know. So okay, I used to I play let's, let's, this let's, song let's, you hear. Let's, let's, in, <laughs> you'll play it in a second. Like, what just, the let's, hell? Let's just take 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 me. If I play it. Sounds cross cross. Kuna kuna 
Okay, just, just <laughs> okay, so now, move. yeah, now we've dissed Issa. No, 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 no. I want me to hear from the entrance of Issa because okay. that was a, ch- a change. Like, like, do you guys know the story behind the entrance of him? Do you, do you have that story? No, no. Or him coming? No. Or you just remember him being at Ogopa and then yeah, suddenly? Yeah, yeah. So what happened when he joined Ogopa? Lucas stopped looking at us. <laughs> Is it just you or other or other artists? No, I mean, I mean, because now he had gotten the hip hop artist he wanted. For us, we were too radical for his liking. I mean, we were too, I don't know, we were just too radical. And now I completely understand his point of view. Mm-hmm. I was like, where the hell am I going to take these guys? Guess I can't put this guy underground yeah. like crazy. Ah, we were too underground, we were too rough. 